C-reactive protein or CRP, that's how you're going to see it, that's how people will most likely refer to it, has a normal range of 0.08 to 3.1. Now what is CRP? Essentially CRP is a, it's a glycoprotein that's released by the liver in response to acute inflammation. Okay, so when there's uh, an acute inflammatory issue that, that occurs, CRP will be released and it will spike really quickly and then it can actually return to normal pretty quickly too. So the reason a provider is going to order this lab is to assist in, in differential diagnosis, okay, to assist in diagnosis of, of inflammatory issues. So things like Crohn's disease, SLE, rheumatoid arthritis, and issues where you're going to see a, a, a spike in inflammatory issues, okay? So again, when there's an inflammatory process occurring, the liver is going to release this CRP. So a few things that are going to cause an increased CRP are going to be like bacterial infections, Crohn's disease, um, inflammatory bowel disease, myocardial infarction, rheumatic fever, rheumatoid arthritis, and uh, SLE or lupus. Again, you're really when you see CRP, you're really thinking CRP with uh, erythrocyte sedimentation rate. These two labs are going to be labs that we're ordering to monitor inflammation to determine what if there's inflammation process going on and if it's something we need to pay attention to. However, like I said, CRP is going to be much more abrupt. So if there's an inflammatory process that occurs suddenly, CRP is going to spike quickly and it's going to return to normal more quickly as well. Normal values for CRP are 0.08 to 3.1.